This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Hey guys, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter, live from the Sorgatron Media Studios here in the BQ neighborhood of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, for a 310th Tuesday of celebration of professional wrestling here. I got a hell of a crew with us tonight. First of all, uh, straight from the basement and Girthquake Central, it is Mutilator Larry. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Straight I, from the basement. I at least have a location I can hail you from. Yes. Yeah. Or, yes. or if you're late for the show, call you up here through the floor. Yeah. <laughs> where you're you're making fake ropes and I'm living in the basement. Or now. real vines and and fake, real ropes fake. and real fake ropes. <laughs> yes. Is that still up here? Yeah, no, it's no. over there. You should just like wear some of your props up here sometime. <laughs> Anyways, and just make people just don't say anything. We'll just make people ask questions. Also with us, he's back in. You can hear about his recent adventures in professional wrestling this Hello. past weekend. He might have broken something. No. Hey, but that's for the gold. It is Chad the Shad. Hello, hello. I'm not mad. It, it just was, makes a it good was, story. It was an adventure in filming. It is an adventure. It's happened to... The ringside filming. It's happened to the best of us. Yes. It's course. happened to the worst of us. So it was my christening. <laughs> it's ha- it was your christening. <laughs> lo- losing losing half of my camera in the middle of a wrestling match. But, yeah, but the fan yeah. caught it yeah. and returned it. So thank yeah. you. And we're actually using that camera right now. Yeah. It's pointing at one yeah. of you guys on the couch. And I didn't so. lose the shot. So No, did not lose the shot. We're good. Oh, uh, man. Let's see. I want to check with the wind tunnel over here oh, we're gonna change that shot there we go with us coming to us from poughkeepsie new york it is the maddest man because he just got back from uh oh, slanging man. toys at the kids heads at uh, toys r us it is mad mike yeah basically I, I i you know people who show up five minutes before a store closes you can you can fuck off and die <laughs> there you go <laughs> children like just putting that out there apparently <laughs> Also with us from Johnstown, PA. Hey, you're getting NXT here in a little bit. Bobby F. J. Town. I'm excited. It's coming to Johnstown. What the hell? I heard somebody this weekend. I think we were in Bra- when it was when we were in Brownsville talking about going to Johnstown to go see that NXT show. Oh <laughs> man, I'm excited. Get in the car and go tickets right. Tickets already. You bought tickets Bobby, already. Bobby. Yeah, tickets already. Bobby, you're gonna get to see Ricochet. I'm getting in the boat. Rick O'Shea, I Rick understand. Rick O'Shea. Yes. Yeah, Rick O'Shea is going to be there. I think they announced uh, Velveteen Dream. Nice. Oh, man. Uh, Alice Black. Nice. That's going to be fun. Uh, we're going to get like, all the big That's guys. That's going to be fun. Maybe you'll see Pete Doon. Yeah. Pete Doon. There you go. And, of course, our uh, guest of honor, he is coming to us live from the new temple. It is Chris oh, the Joseph, co-executive producer of Lucha Underground, Season four, you guys. Yes, we are here in the temple in somewhere, an uh, undisclosed location. And uh, it's the new temple. You can see there's an office behind me. Oh, wait. Oh. There's a ring over there. There, oh. there it is. Maybe like a sacred wow. seal. I don't know if you can see it from there. I'm not very tall. There's a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, That's here we amazing. are. This is it. That's amazing. It's so I'm hot. Just looking, I'm just looking where people are going to jump from, and that awning behind you looks very jumpable. Ominous. Oh, yeah. The, I, I mean, we're two weeks into the tapings, and we've already had some jumps. So, oh, are, yeah. are, are you crazy. sitting at the announce desk that Striker and Vampiro yes, are at? Yes, yes. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sitting in, I think I'm sitting in Vamp's seat right now. <laughs> That's Be amazing. Careful. If you get corrupted because you're sitting in that seat, we'll we'll just we'll Make just sure know to our medicine. Well, that also mean that will also mean if you get corrupted, that I'm going to put Whatever you. Whatever you say, Master. Whatever you say. Master. <laughs> but that also that also means if you become corrupted, I'm going to put you to Bailey entrance music as well, like we did with Vampiro's introduction. So. Oh God, no, no, no! Have you seen that? It fits pretty oh, well. It really no. does fit no. well. No, we, need to, we need to send you this video. It's we will. Actually hilarious it is well i got let me get some business because we gotta get into the temple here uh, uh, as we're already one foot in right now 
But thank you. Once again, our intro by our friend Basic Sickness. Check him out at basicsickness.com. Uh, check out everything at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Uh, hit me uh, that email address. Good times. Times. Good times at mm, sorgatronmedia.com because I still need to call GoDaddy and fix that. 412-206-WMS0 no at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. Look, I have like paper notes so I don't forget about them anymore. Uh, also, please subscribe to the show on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, uh, Google Play Music, maybe Spotify soon. We'll get some news on that, hopefully. And Wrestling Mayhem Show YouTube and Facebook page. And also, thank you to our awesome Patreons, patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Bo Diggity! Woo! Ed Burke and Bobby FJ10 at the dollar level. Oh, and Tina Keys as well. And, sorry, page two. Uh, Pocky Club, a five dollar level. You guys are gonna get the amazing over forty minute gold that we did today. A lot of it's a, it's its own podcast at this point. Uh, our friends from Occupy Pro Wrestling and Christopher Bishop, and at the ten dollar Pizza Club level is uh, our friend Billy Johnson, who thanks to him we will know which day is Rusev Day, and we got an awesome signed picture sitting over can. there. Uh, oh, it's not in either shot actually. Uh, move that over a little bit. We need to get Emma in the shot a little bit. She can, she can, you know, get get. It's all about her. Get, get the Emma. There we go. Thank you so much, Billy, for uh, beautifying the studio with that as well. So there you, uh, go. There you go. And uh, of course, you guys can support the show. Help keep the lights on here in the studio. At Patreon dot com slash wrestling mayhem show so krista joseph you are uh two weeks into tapings and ju judging by what i'm seeing on the uh taping schedule that means you're like half a season in right <laughs> uh yeah we're pretty good I, I, don't, I don't know the total amount we've done but yeah we've done a lot yeah. a lot in a little amount of time it's crazy my head is going to explode there's so <laughs> much things so many things going on so many little tweaks and changes and nuts things happening it's it's uh yeah it's a lot Okay, so tell us everything. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see if that would work. We've never actually no. tried just asking directly. <laughs> this is no. true. This is uh, true. Yeah, that won't work. <laughs> I don't think that will will work. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's been a different experience. It's a new temple. Um, there are. A lot of new faces there's old faces it's there's but they're still the same lucha underground insanity i can tell you that mm. it's <laughs> wacky in here uh chris as much as you can tell us because we've seen the articles about about the space uh about you know this is not the same kind of giant warehouse like it was before um you know it's, it, tell us about like kind of uh, building into the new space you guys of course kind of finding a new home with this uh for the new season you know, after I mean, so many episodes and great moments in the old studio uh, or temple. I'm sorry. Uh, and what is it like to move to that new location and, and kind of readjust to that for you guys? Uh, it's it's kind of fun to be in a new location. I would say that like the space where the wrestling is, like in here, it's probably like a little more condensed. I mean, it fits the same amount of people, but it's a little bit more like there's not that big wide open backdrop to yeah. where we kind of had in the temple. But so it gets super loud in here. Um, but the overall space is this place is huge. Like it's hard to find people. If if somebody goes missing, it could take hours to find them. So you, uh, you're, or, you know, maybe they'll be well, uh, murdered. I, plus, people go missing in the temple a lot of times. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially this um, new one that's haunted. I, I have, I have. Oh. Wait, boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. All right, drop, <laughs> drop in nuggets already. Haunted by who? Yeah. Uh, uh, we, no, we, have a, we have a question from Matt Carlins in the chat room. Uh, he says, "Is Lucha <laughs> Underground season four a sequel or a gritty reboot?" <laughs> um, no, it's a sequel. Is it a gritty sequel? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty damn gritty. It's awesome. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess so in some ways, yeah. God, yeah, it's What's haunted for there? sure. And PJ Black was taking pictures of ghosts the other day, so you know. <laughs> oh man, Ooh. you know it, it does seem like there's some interesting <laughs> things. We we we've seen some, I, I presume, behind the scenes. I understand uh, from one video that's been going around on Instagram, uh, the Lucha Underground uh, uh, Performance Center <laughs> is kind of hot and heavy over there. Oh God, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they got in trouble for that one. Oh no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that... <laughs> That was, uh, yeah, just do you like our new facilities? We designed them, you know. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. You know, there's lots of drinking water and spitting it out in the, in the 
to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that, that is the first step to any good promo. I mean, we, we all know this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, I mean that's yeah. Everybody's everybody's trying to figure out ways they can they can always be put over. So that's that's, that's probably the best way to go about. All right, yeah. Yeah. But, no, uh, but yeah, it's a it's a real uh, yeah. We actually have a gym in here too, kind of like the old temple. Mm-hmm. Um, but like behind it is like this really scary room where there was like when we came in here there was like dead animals and yeah, it was really weird. Oh, oh nice. geez. So did you nice. did you just leave them there for ambiance? <laughs> The no, the, the one of the rats. One of the rats was like so big, it was like an arm. You know, like he was humongous. Uh, but he's gone, thank God. It's in Cuerno's trophy room. <laughs> yeah, he's hanging on the wall now. His, his head is mounted on a tiny little wooden plank. <laughs> All right, now now I have to ask: Is the bathroom? Are the bathrooms at the new temple? Dingier or creepier than the bathrooms at the old temple? All we have is porta potties here. That's all we got. The oh, it's like here. Here. Oh, no no. Bathrooms. Oh wow. <laughs> so creepier. <Okay. laughs> so in other words, yeah. Marty yeah. the moth just hangs out there and waiting to pull people in, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He just waits inside of the porta potty. But they're like some of them are they're kind of luxury porta potties. They're more of the nicer Ooh, versions. Fancy. They have sinks and stuff Ooh. like that. Oh shit. Okay. Pretty amazing. All right. For porta potties. <laughs> there is spares no the, yeah, well, there is spares no expense when it comes to porta potties. Yeah, it, it, yeah it, it's 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 kind of an inconvenience because they are far away when you're in the middle of working, but you know, hey, gotta do what you gotta do. That's right. Uh it's a okay. lot better than the scary bathroom where a dragon might come out and get you though. You, know, you never know. That well, could, a dragon, that, that that could yeah. happen in a porta potty. Yeah, that could happen in a porta potty. I mean it could be more interesting. Drago's new home is this tiny little porta potty. <laughs> no bigger place. It's his locker room. Yeah. Well, I mean, we all know the entrance to to, um, to Cobra Moon is through the yeah, toilet. Li- yeah, he's living in the layer now, so it's much more spacious, I think. So, and cleaner. Amazing. Minus Pindar's blood. <laughs> <laughs> God. All right. Uh, so, out of the. Because I, I don't want you to spoil anyone new who's showing up unless you want to tease us with new people out of the old no, part of the big trouble well okay <laughs> i, I kind of figured that but just making sure um out of the old guard that we know are returning who has really stood out so far in the stuff that you guys have taped oh gosh um Man, I mean, probably Johnny, Johnny Mundo, for sure. Um, Jeremiah Crane. Excellent. Uh, nice. Okay. King Cuerno. I mean, gosh, everybody's standing out. What do you guys see this stuff? It's crazy. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, Mill is a beast right now. He's in, like, amazing shape. Um, Black pants? Gosh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no pajamas. No pajamas. No pajamas. Oh, good. Right. oh, good. It's hey, it's weird watching those. Early he ones. leaves those at the hotel at night. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, those are for sleeping now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. That's when he gets back. After, yep. Uh, when he when he goes into his casket, his <laughs> casket bed. Uh, yeah, it, it, pretty much that. Uh, I would say, but yeah, a lot of those guys for sure. I'm just gonna stop, I mean, everybody has. I mean, like, damn, kill shot is awesome. Uh, everybody, Matt. Hello, everyone. They're they're all killing it. Oh, uh, we we do have a My question. The ch- we we have a question in the chat room from Tina Keys. Um, wishful thinking or request? Could we get Cage versus Tessa, Tessa Blanchard in Lucha Underground? Cage versus Tessa Blanchard? Yeah. Is that what that was? Yeah. yeah. That it's it's just a request. I mean. You know, we want to see everyone versus. I'll work on it. Yeah, yeah, let's do what I can do. That's excellent. Mm-hmm. I just want to call Rick O'Shea and ask him. <laughs> <laughs> this is NXT name. <laughs> is that his NXT name for real? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was. God. That's, that's what no, we've been he's, calling. Yeah, he's running, a, he's running a he's running a nineteen twenties gimmick. Rick O'Shea. <laughs> they yeah. gave him Becky Lynch's gimmick. Yeah. He's a nineteen twenties. He's a nineteen twenties detective. 
Yes. Uh, Rick O'Shea <laughs> with a top hat and a newspaper. Yes. Yes. You could do that. You could do that. Some uh, dams will walk into my office tonight. <laughs> you're going to do this flip off the rope, you see? <laughs> Um, the, the other question with, with this, you know, uh, going back to the location change, like la- the last season, the, all three of the seasons were really kind of um, rooted in the whole Boyle Heights and that being like, like, you know, the neighborhood and the theme and everything. And uh, that that's not as much the case here. Like, how is that going to be? Does that change the vibe or is that just kind of go with the location change in, in general and, and, and kind of the new stuff that's going to come with us in season four. I mean, I mean a little bit. I mean, we're inside of a giant ice house, so that's kind of cool. There's like, um, uh, I mean, there's actual freezers like everywhere. We're inside of a giant freezer, right? Glacier's right over there. Um, (laughs) Yes, it's right behind me, ready to kill me. But um, I don't think it changes too much. I mean, we're really just like across the river Mm -hmm. from where we were. Yeah. And um, so it's not that different. I mean, I guess parts of the neighborhood are like kind of worse here <laughs> but, uh, oh. but uh you know it adds to the ambiance uh, the overall experience that the fans get uh, worse is better you know yeah there's someone awesome. going to the bathroom on the street right outside the temple welcome to which under there's a porta yes. potty over here <laughs> yeah right Abbey. exactly Don't they know to use and, and, not a, and, and not just a regular porta potty a luxury porta potty it has a yeah, sink yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah it has a sink Brandon had a paper towel dispenser. Brandon had a good question. He was wondering when season three is going to Netflix. Yeah, I have no wow. idea. Hopefully soon. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. plans for that though. Well, I mean, they'll probably they'll probably like I'm just guessing, but they'll probably announce when season three goes on Netflix when they announce when season four is starting. It's possible. I would think, right? Likely to get people like me able to binge. Likely, likely. I hope so. Yeah, likely. <laughs> um, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Chris typically does not have answers to per, like those ends of distribution yeah. questions. We've yeah. learned, uh, you know, just the in the many times we've talked here. Trust, me, we've tried. <laughs> I, wish I did. We've honestly, we've tried. Yeah, <laughs> it, so. it never hurts. That's right. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, people, people got are taking care of those kinds of things. That, that, that I have enough problem so like, hopefully that's one less thing I don't have to worry about you got people making performance videos you guys <laughs> yeah um awesome it, it is weird saying seeing this guy that resembles Matanza jumping around uh I just gotta say <laughs> uh yeah yeah that was kind of strange you can, man you keep uh, bringing up that video yeah I mean besides that I got other things to do like we're, we're, we're it's we're stuck doing, with like, me there's some re- there's some rewriting going on as we're going <laughs> things that are working yeah. so we're yeah. working the lucha yeah, underground by. so dario is so we're working in that dario is starting a performance center basically. got it got it <laughs> <laughs> no that is not one of the vignettes <laughs> but it's damn good <laughs> oh, all right i, I, I want to lead into this just because it was asked in the in the chat room and i know alex miller miller uh, in here has been telling us uh, uh he's been telling us all these redacted spoilers uh the last two weeks uh so don't worry he's been uh, uh very very good with that uh, oh no trust me if he spoiled any bit of lucha underground we, we, i would immediately boot him from. oh yeah we, he would have been blocked from our <laughs> chat room a long time ago for sure um and he's going to be teasing us for the next however long this takes uh but mm. but bobby i think this is going to lead to your question too he says can we get oh, okay. can we get a lucha underground big brother and i don't know what how yes. that format would work entirely <laughs> You should pitch that to Roach, Chris Roach. He he, he can he can probably make that happen. There you go. There you go. Mm. Hit him up. Like Hit an up. it would be awesome though. An actual like with the characters living inside of the house. Like mm-hmm. that would be amazing. Would be you amazing. could do like you could do like a found footage video with Katrina just teleporting around the temple looking for snacks. Well, well, Marty the moth has been thrown out of the house because he <laughs> stabbed another house guest with a fork. <laughs> <laughs> against the rules. <laughs> Mill is complaining about it in the di- Mill is complaining about it in the diary room to the camera. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Uh, oh, just holding his rock. <laughs> <laughs> and, and like I the, miss the, Katrina. I want to get out of this house. <laughs> you blanket no, wrapped the around cliff- him. The cliffhanger is just Pentagon going, you know, I'm usually said Omiero, but sometimes 
I'm Uno Miedo. <laughs> 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 oh, Bobby! I think you had a big Drago, brother. Drago yes, won't. Yes. Drago won't come out of the bathroom. You know? I have a yeah, big brother we're, question. We're, if we're, if, we're, if, if always we're, in the pool. <laughs> God. <laughs> Bobby, what is a Bobby question? I, I can ask. answer without getting in trouble. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's a general question. <laughs> Are we ever going to get another All Star season? I, I don't know. I hope all so. All I cool. want. I don't know. That, that's again a question for Chris Roach. You guys need to have him on. Uh, that's all I want. All those kind of questions. That's a different podcast, I think, entirely. Yeah, it is. I, I keep those podcasts. I keep. Bobby, you just need to. But, but you just need to do a Big Brother podcast again. Yeah. But you can talk lots of wrestling with him, which would be good. There yeah. you go. There you go. Well, the, we'll just have to have him as a as a co host guest or something on then. Uh, well, you know, I've been telling Bobby to start that Big Brother podcast. I bought him a brand new yeah, microphone to start his Big Brother podcast. And I'm just saying, back. that'd be a great first guest to kick things off if we can get that arranged. Yeah. So. It would be pretty good, man. <laughs> <laughs> could do it. Uh, Bobby, I think we know someone who could help get maybe, in touch with him. Maybe a couple of people. We'll Rick work Shea. on that. <laughs> well, well, hey, I want to talk, I wanna talk Rick more. Shea. Rick O'Shea. Rick O'Shea. I, I, I want to, and Chris, I want to get more in with, uh, 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 well, maybe prying secrets out of you. We'll see. Uh, and also something that uh, Mad Mike has been very conflicted with, with uh, some news out of Lucha Underground Ooh, lately. Yeah. But before that, I do need to get to some business real quick. I just want to give a shout out to our friend Slice on Broadway. Um, that, uh, hey, newly redesigned. Our good friends here, the OG right up the street here. Chris, if you're ever in Pittsburgh, you got you to gotta get out here and partake, man. Uh, check them out. Oh, for sure. Uh, check them out, of course. Uh, SliceOnBroadway.com. Brand new website. Shiny stuff. Some great videos on their Instagram as well. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza for such a long time. Here in Beachview, Carnegie PA, PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, as well as East Liberty, their brand new location. What? No, don't. No, no, not that. Don't kick the door down. Yep. Yep. Just go in and say, the mayhem sent me. Place your foot I've come on here the door. to <laughs> gently tell you I love the pizza and the mayhem has sent no. me. Rage on their counters with I money. I keep telling you, you, you can't kick the door down. You have to kick the door in. It oh, opens yeah. outwards, you guys. It doesn't work. No, it's a I safety love, feature. I love the mayhem and the pizza sent me. What? Wait. What? Just, wait, what? <laughs> Just kick. I think yeah. Bobby went off the rails anywhere. for that. But anyways... Any door. Back to it. Uh, so we do have to bring this up. Uh, Mad Mike, uh, there was some news that came out about Lucha Underground in this, I believe, this past week um, that it really has, you, you, you know, probably, Chris, we, you know, the midweek war was all encompassing of the midweek wrestling, uh, including some that made Mad Mike angry. I don't know, his video went away, so I think he's Gone. avoiding our question. <laughs> <laughs> he's avoiding the question. Are you still with us, Chris? Yeah, hold on one second. Okay, okay, hold on. Wait, 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 I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. We'll give him a. Can moment. you not see me? Am I? I lost yeah, yeah. My... Your video just went out I lost here. Lost so. video. Oh no, it's haunted. I wonder how I get my video back. Uh, well, probably the video button. There should be a button on there for video. Yeah. There, there it is. Go. You're back. No. There it is. Uh, Mad Mike, I'm gonna let you tackle. Sorry, somebody. Yeah, somebody called me. <laughs> well, tell him you're doing a podcast. Tell, tell Marty me. the Moth to wait. Yeah, tell him the Mayhem Show is happening, and also tell him to return my <laughs> tweets about coming on. Uh, so, <laughs> by the way, uh, Mad Mike, um, I want to let you uh, uh, deal with this question. Okay. Uh, now, I don't know if you have anything to do with this, Chris. If you do, I, I'm going to be greatly curious. Apparently, there is a combined show with Lucha Underground and Impact Wrestling. During yes. WrestleMania weekend, yes, um, there is. Can you tell us anything about that? Is it good? Like, are we going to get Johnny Mundo versus Johnny Impact? Because I'd actually <laughs> love to see that. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, if that's possible, for sure, I think that would be cool. <laughs> but it might only be able to happen in uh, in Lucha Underground, though. But I think, that, yeah, I, I, I believe that there <laughs> there is a show. I don't know all the matches. I don't know all the details. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to get to be there, but uh, I would like to. I could, but we'll see. But uh, I think it's going to be a cool event. It's going to be awesome for fans to see uh, those kind of two worlds collide, and I think it'll be cool to see uh, what kind of awesome matches they can put on at that event. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was just curious about it because, like, uh, it, it blew my mind that, like, 
something I love so much and something I really Don't just love. got so frustrated <laughs> with it. I was trying to be nice. I was trying to be nice because I know you guys are working again. I'm like, it's, it's something I hate. <laughs> but <laughs> something yeah, I mean, I think, I think there, are two, <laughs> so there are two different things. And I think both like companies at this point are like looking to work together and try mm. to help each other out and uh, give the fans some, some something good to see, at least uh, with that as that goes. And it has so, does, so does that mean for season four, we're getting El Ija del Dixie Carter? <laughs> yes, it's very possible. <laughs> it's very possible. She's invading every promotion now. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, I, I have I have a guest. I have oh. a guest. Have oh, a here guest. we go. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> yes. Awesome. <laughs> I'm scared, oh, <laughs> see, see, there you go, guys. Excellent. That's the right there. By the way. That's awesome. Can we ask favorite him? Favorite can we ask him about the porta potties? Welcome to the <laughs> temple. Oh yeah, yeah. They want to ask you about about the bathrooms here because right. you always come out of the bathroom and these are real small. Uh-huh. Yes, he likes Thank them. You. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have the nunchucks. They're awesome bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh Thank, my you. God. Thank you, sir. They're the greatest thing. Yes. <laughs> so the legendary Drago is here. Yes. Oh, in green. Awesome. Green. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Spoiler. Mm. <laughs> Spoiler. Like Spoiler. The <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like the bathroom situation. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's luxury. He... No, no. In, uh, He's not feeling well. He's still <laughs> green. He's still green. He's a, he's he's a, a guy. He, he was, he, yeah, he was red before he went into the bathroom. <laughs> 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 uh, well, it just sounds like he applied some ointment then if he was red before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, All right. Uh, so I, I have a question about season four, Chris. Um, yes. I know you guys are really good with like establishing your world and your universe and everything like that. Is there going to be some kind of in-story reason for the venue change at the temple? Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. I, okay. I, I kind of figured there was... I, does it have to do with who the new champion is? Or is it more of a Dario thing? Wait. Uh, wait, what, what's, what's the question again? Yeah. Sorry. Does, does it have to do uh, with... I saw... Does it have to do with the, who the new champion is with being uh, Pentagon Dark, or is it more of a Dario decision? Oh, you're going to have to wait and find out. I, can't uh, find out. Uh, <laughs> I tried. I tried. I tried. All right. <laughs> but it is a storyline reason. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. That's good. That's cool. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. There were, there were, there was. Um... And by the way, if you have read spoilers, if you have read spoilers, a lot of them are, are really wrong. So oh no! I I actively I don't even at this point now that I know you guys are taping I don't even Wikipedia people who I think might no, be able to understand. No, we yeah, learned they, we learned even, that last season. <laughs> unfortunately, like, you, can't even ha- you can't even hashtag it right now. It's like yeah, uh, so, yeah. So. Barry Horowitz isn't the champion then. <laughs> he, he is. He is. Oh, that's right. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he won the he 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 won the belt last week. Pat on the back. <laughs> yeah, well, no, no, but actually, Barry Horowitz is really the perfect opponent for Pentagon Dark. He's been patting himself on the back so long. <laughs> he's immune to the, that the he's immune to the arm breaker. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah. stretches it out. That, that makes a lot of sense. Now, I think we need to give you a job, Mike. We need yes. a job. <laughs> I could use one. I'm still an addict. <laughs> <laughs> um just for a positive to what we were talking about before matt carlin says is uh was responding to our conversation uh he likes that impact uh his association with lucha underground suddenly, suddenly forces us to give it the benefit of the doubt uh which I, <laughs> which is true I mean, and, and that's been happening i mean you guys aren't the only ones they're working with they're they're working here with rise uh the women's promotion mm-hmm. not the other local one we work with and uh good IWC. promotion yeah. Oh, yeah. I hear fantastic things about it. I uh, can't wait to see what they do here in, in town. Um, and of course, you know, with with Impact and everything, it, it seems like it, there's this uh, interesting national alliance of wrestling happening with them. <clears throat> yeah, it seems like, yeah, like, like, yeah, everybody's kind of helping each other out, uh, mm-hmm. which I think is a good thing. It, it enables uh, people to go work different places and do different things. So I, I'm all for it. And a little bit of exposure because there's just so much wrestling right now, and why not play off something like that? So, 
Awesome. Yeah, and plus it's fun. I think it's fun to see those kinds of things happen, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's going to be fun to see, you know, Mil Mortes uh, face somebody from Impact. That'll yeah. be cool. RJ City. Yeah, RJ City, there you go. <laughs> if he is. My God. RJ City in the temple would be RJ's amazing. RJ's the best. Um, I would just, yeah, I'd love to see him just ask where, you know, with the b or knee pad and, and just... <laughs> We also have so, Tina Key. We have Tina Keys wishing that Rosemary would fight Mariposa. I mean, could you? Ooh. Oh, yeah. I, I would yeah. actually love to see that. That'd be great. There's a, here, here's a side question. I, I'm just going to put this out here because I don't know if you guys have seen the uh, RJ City makes coffee in his underwear with guests lately. Um, who would you most <laughs> like to see from Lucha Underground make coffee in their underwear with uh, R, with RJ City? Who are you asking? Me? That's, I'm just putting that yeah. out there. <laughs> I'm just putting that out there because that thought just Marty, can't get Marty, out of my head. Marty the Moth. There you go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, I don't think there's another answer. answer. Yeah. There's no faces. other answer. There's no other answer to that. <laughs> Rick uh, O'Shea. Rick also, O'Shea. Also, I, I'll throw out King Cuerno because I'm really curious how he takes his coffee. I assume it's black. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I assume it's sure. He's but... a hunter. He's got to get up early and things like that to kill things. He probably loves coffee. I'd like to. I, it'd be pleasantly surprised though if he was like one of those double pump, half foam, no Swiss soy latte kind of guys. Like he just wouldn't <laughs> yeah, see like, it coming. Like double mocha frappuccino kind of, you know, yeah, something like exactly. that. Yeah. Or, or, mil, complete opposite. Or, or Mil Muertes yeah, only ahead. drinks pumpkin spice lattes. That's it. I could see that. Like not, yeah, not even in. Out. Gotta have my PSL. <laughs> He calls him um, yeah, he, he is. He is kind of. He's he's a zombie basically. He's come back to life, so he loves Halloween. So I can see why he would enjoy those. Uh, welcome to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Not your usual wrestling interview. Uh, anyways, Alex <laughs> Alex Miller in there. Uh, of course, as as we've said, he's been to several tapings, and uh, he he has a very practical question for you. And I don't think it was covered in the okay. NBA. With the new location, what is the best place to eat at? <laughs> <laughs> there weren't a lot of options oh, in the old place. Here? Yeah. I don't know if they serve food, but there's a brewery right down the street, which is awesome. Perfect. <laughs> um, Perfect. Angel City Brewery. I don't know if they serve, but I just know they, well, it's alcohol, so I mean, that's good. And then, um, mm-hmm. you know, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's lots of places. You can just go drive down the street and go to Philippe's and get yourself a, a French dip sandwich. It's pretty damn good, I think. Ooh. So we'll do that. I, I wouldn't really eat, like, really close to here, though. I don't know. <laughs> this is kind of, also, yeah. awesome. I mean, besides maybe... <laughs> Because of the porta potties. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, we're losing a little bit. Of I think got a call again. He's getting a call. We've, we've obviously he said something. Yeah. He said too much. He said too much. The producers, the rest no, of the producers, are saying, "Damn it, bro. no more performance center. No more we're dancing. Not about, we're don't not tell him about catering. Tell don't tell him about catering in the porta potties." <laughs> Bobby got his big brother. They keep like, calling there he is. me. They keep calling me. I, I can't. I can't escape it. He's a busy man. He's a busy man. He's got, there's a temple to run and and things that need yeah, to get done. Yeah, we're shooting. Yeah, we're shooting. We're shooting vignettes right now, so it's like. Uh, oh, it's oh, oh my god! See that? That's where the real fun is. <laughs> are are yeah, you guys? Yeah, um, yeah. And there's some really cool, like really cool new sets and stuff like that. So nice. and new locations, which yeah, you guys was, are gonna really dig. You're I was gonna really just about dig. to ask. They're so wild. Yeah. Yeah, I was just about to ask if you guys are going to do any new locations or anything. Because I know, like, uh, everyone's, like, heard the reports and everything that the budget might be a little bit lower and everything. But, like, I have a feeling that probably won't impact the storytelling as much as I think it would. Because you guys seem... I don't seem... think it will either. I... Yeah, because yeah, you guys seem I, to be able to do a lot with a little, so... Yeah, I don't think it will either. I think the vignettes that we have, that at least I've seen a few cuts of them and some other stuff that I've seen, have been pretty freaking awesome. So um, you guys are going to love them. That's awesome. Uh, Uh, But but at the same time, I think we're we're trying to be smart about things and using our time wisely. And if we can add like another segment that happens in the ring every week or things like that to try to Mm -hmm. make it happen, we will. That's awesome. Uh, Chad has a question here over here. Yeah. Uh, from a from a production standpoint, uh, moving from one temple to the other, what has been uh, a challenge, or maybe something you didn't think you'd have to deal with in changing venues that has popped up? Um, gosh, uh, I mean, obviously we had to rebuild the whole set from scratch again, um, and, and I mean, we kind of took the re- the existing pieces. I didn't physically have to do it, thank God, but uh, <laughs> it's unions for but, that, right? Uh, or design yeah. it, but. But uh, yeah, they, they, I mean, that was pretty tough, like totally doing that, building all the sets again. Um, 
you know, those kinds of things were were problematic. We had to clean out the whole warehouse. This is an abandoned warehouse since the nineties. Nobody has been in here. Jeez. Wow. So uh yeah, so so we came in here and kinda had to had to clean everything up and um I think that uh that was that was tough. Um you know, our our first taping day, it, it was you know, it's been it been two years <laughs> almost since we had shot another season. So it was like we were a little rusty. But I tell you this, by the second day, we were in full on Lucha Underground mode. Nice. <laughs> so nice. how long how long did it take to uh get that place cleaned out and get the set built and stuff before you were ready to shoot? God, I want to say two or three months. Two or three months to do it. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So um I, Not I know to mention new costumes, all this again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I uh, Lucha Underground is kind of infamous for its different match formats and new like innovations and twists on stuff are there any new match types that you can maybe like at least confirm or deny that there are new match types (laughs) (laughs) oh oh, and also Um, does one of them include a baseball bat i mean that (laughs) sure or a beach ball or a beach ball there are there are new match types there are old match types um there are the same match types, but with new names. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a bunch of, you know, new spins on things. So uh, okay. it's uh, it's it's pretty fun. Yeah, that's, Eric, that's, Eric, that's the best part about it. It's fun. Yeah, Grave Arrest is Also, do, I know he escaped to um, go to the Royal Rumble. Was, yeah. was Rey Mysterio recaptured? <laughs> Because I mean, he, as far as I know, he's never gotten out of the cell. I didn't watch the, you know, I didn't watch the Royal Rumble. Okay, Rumble. see, that's what I assumed. He's smaller. No, people were asking me about that. I assumed he was an astral projection like Luke Skywalker in the Rumble. Okay. Where he just goes like this. Astral projection yeah, confirmed. <laughs> confirmed. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Um, uh, Chris, we, we talked about it at length before on, on here in the Indie Mayhem show about, uh, I guess, maybe before, um, about how... You know, you guys kind of got into this. I think you said, like, writing as if it was, like, the last wrestling show you're going to write. You're now four seasons deep in this. Um, is Are you getting to, like, the deep stuff at this point? Or is it just inspiring, just going full tilt forward? Um, I guess by the deep stuff, um, I don't know what you mean by that. I mean, we're obviously advancing the storylines. Right. Um, you know, we've been trying to do new things. At the same time, I think we're trying to put a little bit of a new coat of paint on it a little bit and, and mm-hmm. kind of, you know, you'll see a lot of changes to it. I think it'll be changes that people like where you're still comfortable with what with what you're seeing on TV. I think above all and above everything, it's the in-ring stuff that, that tells the best stories. And, um, you know, that action does not, go away at all i mean it's insane awesome, awesome. um you know we, we tried some fun i'll tell you this there'll be some fun segments in the ring there'll be some lightheartedness there'll be some comedy there's uh you know it's, it's everything drama violence extra violence um <laughs> yeah i mean I, I guess like do we still just sit around and like pretend like you know we're playing with toys and coming up with crazy ideas and things we want to do absolutely has never changed. <laughs> and and hopefully <laughs> never will. Ha, have any of those toys gone fallen through the ceiling yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But we've. I mean, gosh, I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, you, you guys. I, God, I wish I could tell you some of the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what's crazy. one? What's one teaser? One one thing you can tease. You don't have to outwardly tell. Like. Something to get us salivating, like yeah, thinking you, about what, what the hell could you? When mean? you were talking about what, what I think would end up being the uh, weapons of mass de- destruction match towards the end or something, like we we were salivating mm-hmm. over that teaser for like the entire season. Oh 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 the the hell of war thing hell of war know? yeah yeah and holy crap that lived up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, gosh, we're only halfway through. Um, I will say that there is an in ring segment. That happens uh, at the mid-season point. That is uh, amazing. 
I think it's one of the best in-ring segments I've ever been a part of or had the hand in producing and help with. Uh, I mean, it was just a huge team effort. It took months to do and get everything in order, but I think it's going to be a huge, huge, huge hit. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Right, wait, I want to take a second to introduce, I uh, just came in here, is our friend in the mainstream media, uh, mainstream Matt is with us. What's up? Proprietor. Am I on? Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing He's matt i'm doing out, great man. i know you been... just saw drago on the podcast <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't wreck your car i was i was like we well actually because i i am driving here while i'm listening to the podcast yeah, yeah yeah but i'm listening to it on facebook live so of course it's it's on video and, and chris stops he goes wait i've got a guest stepping in right now and i'm going down the road and i'm like doing this thing you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who is that you know so funny they're trying to figure out who's green. Oh, wait, who would be green? Is yeah. that a mask? Who is that? Is he speaking Spanish? Who could that be? Yeah. <laughs> I know. It narrows it down, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, do you have any questions? I know you've been catching up with things. Uh, uh, anything while, uh, before we get to Mayhem Mania here? In uh, a little I'll bit. think of a couple just off the top of my head. Uh, just like creatively, uh, Chris, after three seasons in the temple, did changing venues uh, spark anything in you creatively? Did it kind of I want to say reinvigorate you at all, but uh, it did did it help kind of get the juices flowing at all? Oh yeah, I mean, I, I think I think I think for sure it did. Um, it, it's kind of part of the storyline, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, it, it get, at least with a new venue, it gives us new stuff to do, which is the most fun part about it. Is uh, you know, coming up with new crazy things to think of and uh, things like you know, I think. Uh, um, Mike was pointing out like there's giant things to like jump off of and like mm -hmm. big ladders that are everywhere, <laughs> you know, platforms. Look at, look at that scaffolding. Things like that, and you know, <laughs> there's a giant hole in that thing. We had to cut that. They cut that hole out of that to like give us a little bit of more like so we can have a little more depth in here. But mm -hmm. yeah, this this is a yeah, and a, and a Modelo sign up there, and, and a freezer door entrance. Now, Ooh. all right. Hold I assume is the bagel any, bite is sign anyone, is on order. Is so. there a chance anyone gets locked in that freezer? Uh, oh, that one up there? Mm -hmm. That one is just the that's, the, that's one of the entrances. Oh, okay. And then this okay. is like a... One of <laughs> You're on audio. I'm sorry. You know, we're going to be watching season four of Lucha Underground. There's going to be a scene. And you're just that gonna see Chris like wander by. Oh, oh, fuck! I touch it. No. I just got. I just Jesus. got aroused. <laughs> I'll play. Oh, oh, no. Uh oh, no. Uh oh, not now. I don't please. think service is oh, good no. down there. Uh, probably not. But this is this is the control room in here. Okay. Oh, oh, cool. Now, now, do you guys call oh, no. it gorilla position, or do you oh, call he, it like? You got a call. Um, or do you call it? Um, oh no, he's in trouble. They called. <laughs> oh, no. oh no. El Rey has censored him. Oh no. Robert Rodriguez. I'm glad that his account is on brand. By the way, uh, we got a Lucha Underground logo. <laughs> yeah. If you guys are on audio uh, instead of his video, so just just seeing so you know what's going on here. We can hear him. Uh, hold on. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear yeah, you. Yeah, we can hear you. No video. It might be that I'm low on battery. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. The battery's haunted. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Listen for clues. Listen for clues. I know. I'm, I'm listening for like, voices in the background. Is that... Is Weird. that... This is a theater of the mind. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Donde esta el baño? Oh, no. What is that? Um, oh. <laughs> no. oh Sorg, I was joking earlier. I was saying that there'll be some backstage segment on Lucha Underground Season 4 where in like the far distant background, you're going to see Chris walking by with his phone. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> That's kind of us over there. <laughs> We're kind of hey, on on Lucha Underground. All right, he's back. He's back, guys. <laughs> And a podcast breaks out in the middle of Yeah. <laughs> oh, now we don't have audio. Yeah, I had to be really quiet. So, somebody shot me a nasty look when I was over there. Trying to <laughs> even yet. 
Oh, who, yeah. Who, who was it? <laughs> <laughs> who, who shot you I'm in the nest? Yeah, probably someone who's trying to tell me to be quiet. <laughs> uh, yeah, or, 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 yeah, so, uh, there's, uh, a, there's a, there's a, they're, they're in the snake layer right now, so I'm trying to. Oh. So you went to the Chamber of Secrets? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Chris, we're going to we're gonna roll this long so you don't, uh, one, get fired or be uh, run out of battery before Mayhem Mania. Uh, so uh, in the meantime, uh, let's give a shout out to our friends. Oh, hey, uh, to our friends that want to uh, give us money to advertise on this show, because obviously we are the most professional of wrestling podcasts. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, so you're looking at some great advertising options. Slice on Broadway loves us. Look at all the upgrades and expansion they've had since the first heard about them here on the show they were just one og pizza shop down the road and now yeah. and now they're well nationwide known and internationally now they're the only reason they're the only reason pirates fans are going to be happy this season exactly yep. exactly home of the pittsburgh pirates but anyways if you're looking to uh, uh get involved with this podcast and we like to integrate these podcast these these uh um ads as well. We're having some fun developing some stuff for some of our friends that we we are looking forward to telling you about here in the coming weeks. Advertise with us for more details on our advertising plans. Uh please contact us at uh info at sorgatronmedia.com today. Get in touch with Missy, she'll hook you up with everything. And um just make sure to check the box on whether kicking the door down is acceptable or not. It's always acceptable. And there you go. In the it's meantime, in, yeah. also check out this from our friends at Sidekick Media Services. We'll be right back with Mayhem Mania. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Wrestling Mayhem Show back here. We got a hell of a crew, a hell of a night going on here. Uh, of course, Mad Mike up there in Poughkeepsie. Chris Joseph live from the Lucha Underground Temple, the secret location. Oh, yeah, we're here. It's freezing in here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's cooler than being cool? Lucha Underground. <laughs> this is a new famous B commercial. Bobby F. J. Town joining us as well. He's been. I'm just surrounded by toys. Yes, he is. He's been auditioning for uh, extra characters for Lucha Underground or extras or, or, or something like that. Special effects. Special I'm effects. Lucha exactly. And, uh, <laughs> Larry is with us as well. Yes. 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 Chad the Shad, now the board holder for Mayhem Mania, and mm-hmm. now presiding yeah. Yeah. over his Mayhem Mania. It is time. Thanks for the for... segment that everybody's been waiting for. That's right. And what? Breaking news. Hold on. I got breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news from Wheels. Uh, from Sanjay Dutt, Joss Matthews and I will be on Impact Wrestling's Facebook Live Thursday at noon. We will be announcing the first competitors from the from Lucha Underground who will participate in Impact Wrestling versus Lucha Underground show on 468 WrestleCon in New Orleans. Oh be sure to join us. Wow. I, I may actually have to go on Impact's Facebook page. Yeah, yeah. You're going to have to really like that and unblock them if they haven't blocked you from before. <laughs> they may have blocked We know Twitter was a kind of a can of worms yeah, for you. Yeah, Let me Chris, back Chris, in, Don um, West. I'm one, of, I'm one of few people who has actually been blocked by a wrestling company on Twitter. <laughs> oh, wow. That's impressive work, yeah. man. And the funny thing is, I don't even tweet about Impact on my personal page. <laughs> I'm blocked. I'm blocked. I'm blocked by a wrestling company too, but not as a big, bigger one. But I am, I am blocked by one. <laughs> South Jersey Wrestling is that? Uh... <laughs> no. yeah, close enough. Close enough. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> followed me yesterday. There you go. Kentucky Bluegrass Wrestling. Yeah, Kentucky. Don't get started on that <laughs> on the not, show. Not that's a, Kentucky that's, Wrestling. That's something. There's a whole other thing. <laughs> apparently, she was scouting me. apparently, I have some new ventures that I didn't know about. But anyways, <laughs> Matt, Va- Matt, Matt Carlin's. Hi. Tell us about your ventures with Mayhem Mania. This well, this week. is Mayhem Mania. Yes, so it is. We're, it's kind of a competitive thought experiment where we're trying to build the best WrestleMania card humanly possible within the realm of the current reality. Mm-hmm. Um, we are you are all Vince McMahon with unlimited funds and resources and zero self control. In other words, Vince you're Vince McMahon. McMahon. Yeah. Um, so what we're doing is we are we're, we're building an eight match card um, and we're trying to build great matches that will survive long enough to graduate to the super card last week. We had our first match graduate to the supercard. So that's locked in place. And that match is um, Rick O'Shea <laughs> versus Pete Dune. 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 D
Ricochet. Mm. I love the snarl he's got going on in that yeah, picture, by the way. <laughs> so that is, uh, unex- shockingly to me, that's the first match that we created that graduated to the Supercard. And so by the I'm way, stunned, shout out but- to our friend Antonio Garza at the Rev- WrestlingRevolution.net uh, for the graphics. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Um, so that leaves us seven Thanks cards that we could still, uh, seven matches on our quote unquote undercard that we could still play with. Um, and in a moment, Mad Mike is going to create the eighth because he created the match that graduated. So let's run through the matches that we have on our undercard that we'll be playing with. And okay. So, all right, Chris, <laughs> buckle up. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yep. First up, we've got the Honky Tonk Man and Rockabilly versus Double J, Jeff Jarrett, and the Roadie. Wow. Hold your applause. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> created, created last week by our friend, the Beast Man. Yes, the Beast Man. Absolutely knocked it out of the park. First try. <laughs> Second up, we've got AJ Styles versus Adam Cole versus Samoa Joe, created by Hot Wheels. We've got Triple H versus Kurt Angle, created by Missy, producer Missy. And by the way, if you guys are on the audio or, or need to follow along at home, uh, look for uh, uh, Mayhem Mania Week 5 over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. That's right. And if you want to play along at home, get yourself a pizza from Slice on Broadway, rip the lid off, and you've got the... <laughs> Yeah. The Mayhem yeah. Mania home game. <laughs> All right. Next up, we <laughs> throw in post it. We'll, we'll, we'll oh take care of that. Oh, my that. God. That we need fun. to repost those Where post Did I say Triple H versus Kurt Triple Angle? H versus Kurt. No, yeah, yeah. we just said Well, you know one. what can't be said enough. All, All right, right. Next right, up, right, we've got <laughs> Elias versus the Velveteen Dream, created by our, our friend Dave Podner, mm-hmm. one of our fine viewers. And we've got uh, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce versus Ember Moon and Kari Sane. Indeed, Sailor Moon. Uh, and that was created by Bobby F. J. Town. And we have Batista versus Bobby Lashley versus Braun Strowman. And that was created by The Gavel, David Lawless. And finally, we have Finn Balor versus Brock Lesnar. And that was created by Officer Dan Murphy. And now, Mad Mike, creator of the first match to graduate to the Super Card. Super. Can you please do us a great favor and create? the eighth match that uh, we will be able to uh, play with here tonight. Okay. I've been thinking long and hard about this. Um, I was running through a bunch of different possibilities in my head. I was, um, I I basically spent all Saturday night drinking cucumber vodka. (laughs) And um, what does that do? What does that have to do with that? It helps you get drunk and be refreshed. Helps you think. It helps you think. Uh, All Um, right. All right. You know, whether you're coming or going. Exactly. It was delicious. Um, and I had an epiphany. That epiphany. And that epiphany, um, we've heard for weeks that somebody on Raw can't figure out how to have a damn WrestleMania moment. He has no path. <laughs> so, yeah, he's got a path, and his path, at least in Mayhem Mania, now runs through one person. And that one person is the Empress of Tomorrow. Wait, what? <laughs> That's right. Yes! John Cena versus Asuka is my match. What? <laughs> Fight okay. me, motherfuckers. Fight me. I'm in. That's going to graduate. <laughs> <laughs> totally going to graduate. Yeah, it is. Fine, it's called Asuka. John Cena <laughs> versus Asuka. Asuka. Super Cena versus a 500-plus day undefeated streak, motherfuckers. At WrestleMania. There's your Mania main event. I also I have to thank I Chad the Shad is manning the board tonight because I suffered a debilitating left hand injury. Jeez. And um he is and, uh, you know, I, I was what what, what can I say? From, the less said the better about it, but thanks Chad for helping yeah. out. No no problem, no problem. I'm, was it I'm from wrecking from seeing Drago? It was from playing too much Fortnite. <laughs> I don't know what it was from. Um <laughs> Mad Mike, because your match graduated, you do not just get to create an eighth match on here. You also get to do two more things. Um, yes. So let's start with your Eliminator. Um, you can use it now or you can wait. <laughs> and anyone who is on the card right now cannot be eliminated, which means that they would basically be removed, deleted entirely from being used at any point going forward in this year's Mayhem Mania. You can basically take them off the board for good. But if they're on the yeah. card right now, you can't do that. So you're allowed to hold it until whatever time you want to cash it in. Or you can just do it right now. So, Mike, would you like to eliminate or someone right now? You know what? I think I'm going to hold it. Oh. Because there, there have been some recent developments. 
I need to re I need to rethink everything I thought. You don't, you don't, so, I should clarify too, you don't really need to wait for someone to be signed by WWE or be released by another company. No, I, you can, I know, you can I know. eliminate I, anyone walking the face of God's green earth. You can eliminate her Jesus. There, you can eliminate her President Trump. Just you can Gunn. eliminate her Sorg. Bart you can eliminate her no, Bart, Bart Gunn. I mean, good suggestion <laughs> there. No, Thanks, Larry. No, but, um, no. There are three people in my head. There are three people in my head who I would use on the eliminator. I'm not going to mention it. It's just one guy with three different names. <laughs> <laughs> it is, you're right. It's Mick Foley. Or it's the Godfather. Mick Foley I want yeah. to eliminate. Uh, no, but I, I believe I will save it because I don't think any of them will be used this week. All right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mike, mm-hmm. you also yes. uh, have an opportunity to hand out a. Oh. <laughs> Paging. Chris, are they calling you to the set? No, somebody's <laughs> talking loud. Listen, listen for clues. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Vampiro and Cobra There's, Moon to stage three. All right. There will be, um, <laughs> there will be, there will be uh, light, yeah, light audio clues for, throughout yeah, tonight's episode. <laughs> we're gonna go back in and extract you that. You know, later. we're gonna isolate that audio and listen to see if we can hear what's being said. <laughs> yeah, no, it's gonna be like Ghost Adventures. I think um, he was complaining about something. <laughs> <laughs> show title haunted porta um haunted, haunted deluxe porta uh mad mike you also um will be handing out a dose of punishment yes uh you and i briefly discussed this i have handed sorg a piece of paper which contains this week's punishment you do not know what it is but you nope. do get to decide who gets it so cleverly, cleverly you... disguised as colorful show notes. <laughs> cleverly disguised, <laughs> colorful show notes. Who will you punish? Will you punish Larry, Bobby, Chad, or El Hijo del Cueto, Chris DeJesse? Well, I'm not going to punish Chris because he's been way too good to us. <laughs> that is true. It's really helpful. He has been. Wa- I I still have my damn Lucha Underground mug right here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this this has not left my desk. Side. Do you, do you want me to punish you? That's you, a that's a you I don't know. <laughs> weird. Do you wash it? I mean, well, I don't know what the punishment is. If you want to take on the punishment and be given an extra booking challenge. He's a booking genius. <laughs> don't you want to see what he has to do when you box him in a little bit? I mean <laughs> I always screw this up, so I'm not doing it again. I always mess this one up. Alright, you know what? Consider me the Vampiro to your Pentagon Junior, and this is sticking you with spears. Chris and Joseph gets the punishment. All right. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Oh no. All right, so hold on to that piece yes. of paper. All right. And when all we right. get to Chris's turn, we will reveal the punishment because we, there's one thing we don't want to do is give him too much time to think about it. No, no. This has to be yes. on the spot, and I did peek. <laughs> oh shit. I did peek. <laughs> it's it's gonna Chris. Be good. Chris, it's a goodie. It's a goodie. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Larry, you're up. Bobby is on deck. And uh, Larry, remember, you are working with a yellow card right now. Yeah. <laughs> Just off your two-week <laughs> suspension. I know. Fresh, fresh off of suspension. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Better check yourself. That's right. Don't get too cocky, kid. So <laughs> I'm going to get rid of Velveteen Dream. Oh. You and son of a bitch. I, hold on. And I'm only doing this Don't because be, I've me. been thinking of the buildup. Because... All right. All right. Elias has been so good with building up to matches. Okay. So I want the Drifter to go one on one with the great one, The Rock. Whoa. Nice. Oh, they can both okay. play guitar. Okay. All right. That's good. All right. All right. All right. I'll accept that. I'll accept that. They, right. they could actually have a base battle in the middle of the ring. They could. They could. And when Snap the Drifter the goes to say, hello, my name is Elias, it doesn't Slap matter. It doesn't name. matter what his name is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be great if the crowd that, just reacted that way at that Mania. It really does kind of write itself. Yeah, it does. It really does. Yeah. That's good. I All like right, that. Good job, Larry. Do I have uh, a green card now? Am I good? I, I cannot. You know, yellow cards are forever. You know, right. think of this as the World Cup. Are you know, they? your yellow card doesn't go away. Oh, okay. So just basically, right. you got to be right. gentle. Somebody try not to foul green. anybody again. I'm not anymore. familiar. I don't watch soccer. Don't, so. don't foul <laughs> out. Don't foul don't, out. Don't foul out. We'll see how it goes. Um, okay. So, uh, Bobby F. J. Town, you are up, and Chad the Shad is on deck. All right, I am writing a wrong that was done Mm-mm. a couple oh, could... weeks ago. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> One week from graduation. Oh, no. 
Take Brock Lesnar out of the Finn match. Add Alistair Black back in. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Wow. So Brock Lesnar is <laughs> on the board to be used. Mad Mike, would you like to use your eliminator? <laughs> I'm kidding. Of course you don't want to. Wait, do you? No. Okay. Good, no. good call by you. All right. Uh, Chad the Shad, you're up. Chris, you are on deck. Okay, let's see. Oh, boy. I have an idea and would ask for clearance, though. All right. How many? If I if I remove somebody in a match, how many can I add? Just one? You can only add one entity for another entity. But if you wanted to remove one person and bring like a tag team in to make it a handicap match, you could do that. But if you were thinking, I'm going to remove one person and add two people to make it A versus B versus C. Triple threat. I think I'd have to draw the line right now. What right if there. I add more to make a match a tag match? To make to even it. To even it like out. I, I take one out, but I even the sides. You add a partner to each side? Two partners. I have an idea. Three on Two three. Par- I, I think we should hear the idea and you can make a judgment. It feels like it's outside the balance, but I'm so piqued with curiosity. Yeah, I, I kind of yeah, okay. want to see this too. <laughs> okay. Now, I, I was along the same lines as uh, Mad Mike here. Cena needs his path to Mayhem Mania. <laughs> and, and Mike, you kind of had the right idea here with Oscar. No, I have the exact right idea, Chad. <laughs> you you, you kind of <laughs> had the right idea. But I'm going to take Asuka out of this match. Uh-oh. Oh, you motherfucker. But <laughs> it's going. But Cena can't do this by himself. He's going he's gonna to need friends. Well, uh, he's, a, he's an attached individual now. He can't just go by. He can't make these decisions by himself now. He yeah, has another he can't, even, he can't even go grocery so shopping. So it'll be. I want to make it Cena and the Bellas. Both oh, no. of them. No. Yes. No. Both of them. No. Versus no. the Undertaker <laughs> and Absolution <laughs> minus Page. Oh, so, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Minus hold Page. On. The only reason. The only way I will allow this. In, Wait wait wait, 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 wait. Since hold when are you allowing shit? No, no, <laughs> no Matt, I'm the allower. Matt, Matt, You're not Matt, allowing Matt. anything. Hold on. All right, go ahead. Instead of absolution, you just lay cool. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> we can do that. If you would have made it, if you made we it, can like, do that. You just lay cool. I, 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 yeah, I, you know what? I had not thought of that. But Pardon Undertaker me. also needs some help, and he has a significant other, so lay cool. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You know what? What would you say? I'll allow it. Okay. Wow. Man, I but you know, Undertaker only because team up. you are doing me a great favor by helping me because I'm injured, Sorg. I'm badly, badly hurt. That's what we Chad heard. Chad is helping yeah, yeah. me out. I understand that, it, that is an issue. You know what this means? I get Alex Carr's rule again next week. I could be wearing this thing for the next three or four See, months. See, I helped, you, I helped you out, Mike. I, I, oh, yeah. I'm just going to delete your match. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, just going to delete it next week. I still I I to throw I it out there. I the Eliminator on the Undertaker. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would be late. What Undertaker oh, do to you? That would hurt. Oh. That's yeah. Okay, that's what we're going with. Oh. Thank All you, right. thank you for allowing like that move to happen. How could I? How could well, I stand I, in I the mean, way of progress? I mean, you know, he could just drink a bunch more cucumber vodka and have a whole other epiphany and leave the leave the match in a week. We no, don't no, know that. We don't know what what we don't know what version of Mad Mike we're gonna get. Sorg, I just had a secondary epiphany, and I still have a move, so. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. All righty, then. Um, mm-hmm. I, I, I've got to refresh my WWE app right now to prepare for uh, Chris's move. <laughs> uh, okay, Chris. Um, wait, what? Well, I, I've just got to have data in front of me to uh, prepare for this. Cause, uh, oh, Chris, oh we will right, now, right, right, right. Uh, Chris, are you, Chris, are you there? Okay, good. Um, <laughs> I'm here. Uh, Chris, it is time to reveal uh, the punishment uh, for you that was cruelly and unjustly uh, unjustly put upon you by Mad Mike. Wow. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I, I under no it. pressure from myself that I would encourage him to do something like it's this. It's called a friend of the show <laughs> and a great human being. Uh, so, uh, Sorg, let's uh, let's re- let's let Chris know what the uh, what his punishment all is right, for uh, this. The envelope week. is upside down. Um, all right. Okay. We'll reaction shot on this one. Chris, you must use a member of the 205 Live roster in your match. Oh, that's not oh, bad. That's, yeah. not bad. Yeah. that's not bad. There's a lot more to choose from, though. 
I gotta look at the roster. <laughs> <laughs> That's, what I'm doing. That's not bad. Though. They're on right now, actually. <laughs> Does that include uh, one Jake or uh, Drake Maverick? That I would assume that includes yeah, I mean, Drake yeah, Maverick. Let's yeah, see if I he's mean, on the official. I don't think he's on the no WWE touch list. He's so. not on the no touch list. No, he's on the listed as a talent on two hundred five live. He's in play. Yeah. Okay. I dig it. Mm. Or if you want to book Vic Joseph, I mean, I don't know. Go crazy. <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> or Nigel McGuinness. Nigel McGuinness. Oh, he is on the no-touch list. I don't think I could. I know he is on the no-touch list. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, but it would be fun. There are some people. Okay. There now, with, now, when that, I change, when, when I make a change to something, what can I change? What's, what's the rule? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you could, like, swap. You could kill a match entirely and just create a new match with entirely new guys if you want to. Um, or you could swap in a single individual or a single tag team. Or you can simply add you know, an individual or a tag team to an existing match, making it like a three-way, four-way, five-way if you want to go in that direction. Wow. God, I don't really want to mess with that Honky Tonk match, but that's what I was going to originally mess with. Man. I'm not sure how you improve on that, but I'd like <laughs> to see you yeah, try. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about that one. <laughs> I was going to add some managers and maybe a special guest enforcer, but I won't do that now. Uh, oh, jeez. Colonel Rob Parker. That's hey. exactly where I was going. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. whose side is it yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah. Valentine be the special guest enforcer. And, um, and Chuck okay. Norris be yeah. the special outside enforcer. Absolutely. And for some reason, kimchi. Uh, we can't do that anymore. <laughs> I, got, I got to use somebody from 205 Live. You're uh, going Damn. Don't see any obvious Son country up, music stars on 205 <laughs> Live right now. No, no. I, I don't, don't either. I was thinking like Jimmy Wang Yang, but he's not on there. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Well, I mean, Mandrews could be sort of British pump. pump I mean, you could put a cowboy hat on Grand Metalik if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's not like we didn't spend like half of a season of Mayhem Mania putting people in suits one time. Yeah, so there was could, that. There we was could that. make Garza Photoshop cowboy hats on everyone if we wanted to. <laughs> oh, you'll love us for that one. <laughs> the metal one Metalik is still guitar. This is tough. This is um, called booking on the fly. Yeah, right. Especially when you don't know anybody from the 205 Live roster. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry to do this. Oh, no. It's the real challenge. Yeah. There's a couple of guys with Dragon Mask. Like all right. So I, I guess. Um, okay. Um, how about this? Um, how about. Now, this, you got to stay with me here. With this oh. might be really bad. Follow you all the I way. Can't wait. Can <laughs> we put Can we put Rockstar Spud or whatever the hell his name is? What's his, his name? name now? Drake, Drake Alexander. Maverick. Or like Drake Maverick. Drake Maverick. What if he steals? This is really horrible. Jeff Jarrett's double J cowboy hat, right? <laughs> okay, I'm listening. And then he can we hang him in a cage or something above that match with the cowboy hat in it or hang him from a ladder or something? I don't know, or from a hook or something? Maybe wow. not. That kind of sucks. I, I, th- you don't have to make it this this hard on yourself, Chris. Just just get a human being and get him into the match and we'll we'll worry about stipulations down the line. Oh, okay. So I can't mess with stipulations. It's preferable that you not. Okay. But you're a okay. friend of the show okay. and you are okay. phoning in from the West Coast. So I'm inclined to give you some leeway. <laughs> we chad the shad's five feet all away right, and i let right. him break my rules just now i see how it is because i need to rule. be sitting in that I seat when i, pick I don't gun. have a yellow card and last year i threw post-its so. <laughs> all right um gosh um I, ha- I can either create a new one or I add somebody to a match mm-hmm if you create a new one, you have to take out a match entirely, though. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. <laughs> and and do the Triple H angle matches change now, right? Uh, uh, hasn't nope. been touched yet, so nope, you'd be hasn't the first one to mess with it. Well, no. How about this? Can, can we... Oh, man. You can add know. someone you, to that some match. of the guys that are on that damn show. Uh, Cedric Alexander, Mustafa Ali, Drew Gulak, 
Drew Gulak is awesome. Um, Hideo Tommy. Um, I'm not sure Ta- on Brian Kendrick's uh, health status. So Roddy Strong. He has a broken orbital socket. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, you know Roddy Strong. Or Tyler, oh, somebody, Tyler if somebody's hurt, you can't. You can't. Yeah, yeah you, you gotta. Yeah, he's got to be healthy Freddie by the time for Mania, so we'd have to check. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I know. Oh man. Yeah. So unfortunately, no Noah Star. Is he hurt? Yeah, okay. No, no, I'm you, okay. You, you, you guys are gonna hate me for this. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna add uh, the rock star Spud to the Lashley Batista front. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Amazing. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I'm okay with it. You know, <laughs> shit, I was going to take that match out, but now I can't. I want Rockstar Spud to win. Nope. Back. They're just going to, like, throw him back and forth across the ring between the three of them. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, there there is. Bar- yeah, Batista. Right uh, the hot potato That's... match. Make sure we write that one in. All right. <laughs> the mashed potato so, match. Sorry that it took about four match. years to make that no. match. No, right. it's okay. It's okay. It's good. It works. It works. That's good all right. We got to investigate everything behind you in the temple in the meantime. so I just no, got to remind everyone that the, what the does first that time Chris came on the show to play Mayhem Mania a couple years ago, <laughs> yeah, he came he right in the thing. door and he created Samoa there? Joe versus The Undertaker like right off the bat. Yeah, so yeah. he's he started very, very high. There's really been nowhere to go but down from here. So, <laughs> so you know what? I like watching, there's, there's I like watching like, him operate. There's, a, so there's it's good. a valve up there on the pipe. <laughs> We're trying right. to figure out what that pipe does. <laughs> it releases what, the, the yellow one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, it's like up, up, it's up. Is that is that in a uh, transformer box? No, no, that's a ladder. No, it's that's on top of the la- underneath the... the ladder. Oh, that's a transformer box. Yeah, but is it's it? a camera stand. Yeah, that's oh, a ladder. Yeah. Camera stand. Mm. <laughs> no, there was like a yellow. Oh wait, wait, way up, way up there, way, way up, up there. there, way up there. there. See, it's, oh it's yeah, right under the... look, oh, it's here, right it's, here. It's a valve. Oh yeah, okay, you can tur- yeah, yeah, you can you can turn those valves. You yeah, turn- awesome. Haunted. So much. Haunted. Yeah. <laughs> haunted. Haunted. haunted valves. Look at the we have mania slash lucha temple tour. Matt, <laughs> who's next? Mad Mike is up. Mad Mike. Oh, Mad Come Mike's on, up. Let's do it, buddy. Bring it home. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I was gonna take out that Braun last. Lashley Batista match, but now I can't do that because no. Rockstar Spuds in it, and no. it's now sponsored by Lucha Underground. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. So I can't, I can't remove that match. Nope. nope. Um, and plus, I don't think Chris is available next week for the Alex Cars role. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, and Missy, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I have to oh. eliminate a match since, um, since Chad fucked everything up. Um, I had I had a secondary epiphany. Uh, I'm taking out Triple H and Angle, and okay. I am booking. All right, now guys, I'm Raw. We still don't know who Oscar's challenging, correct? Not really. We don't like, know. Not 100 percent officially. No. She has Don't only see. said she wants the championship. Don't see for sure. She's Don't only see. said she wants the championship, right? Yeah, sure. You know what title she's going after? <laughs> what? She's going after the universal title. Oscar versus Brock Lesnar. I do want to see that. Match. Wow. That's like a for me. <laughs> Asuka. I'm making this shit Asuka's happen. Oscar's going to win. Yes, she is. Hands down. That's my boo. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this car is really rounding into form. Yeah. Rounding into something. Yeah, definitely. All right, let's uh let's take a look at what we got. Um we've got the uh, the honky tonk man and rockabilly versus double J and the roadie. We've got Samoa <laughs> Joe versus AJ Styles versus Adam Cole. We've got Bye-bye. Asuka versus Brock oh. Lesnar, <laughs> the Drifter Oops. versus The Rock. Sailor Moon versus the Iconics duo. Batista versus Lashley versus Braun Strowman versus Drake Maverick. Finn Balor versus Aleister Black. <laughs> and finally, John Cena 
and both Bella Twins versus the Undertaker Jeez. player and Lay Cool. That is some hardcore vintage SmackDown tag team does, right there. Does the That's under- about as hardcore, like early, t- like mid two thousands SmackDown tag team as you can get. The Undertaker and Lay Cool. This could Name be a more mid two thousands SmackDown tag team. This could be oh. American Badass Undertaker. I was gonna say yeah. And okay. he has two sidecars. Kid right? Rock's there. I want them all to enter to Lay Cool's. Well, yeah, like, 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 you know, McCool's his lady. So, I mean, she rides on the back and, and uh, Layla rides in the sidecar. So, it's perfect. Yeah. There, oh, there you go. yeah. There you go. What Good. was that, Chris? So, we were talking about Michelle McCool's music before and how and that's like the one diva song that gets passed down to like every diva. Mm-hmm. It's like bad hand-me-down song yeah it's It's no biscuits and gravy you know (laughs) (laughs) that one um you're not enough for me (laughs) the uh okay uh before we check out sorgi i gotta remind uh, because the chat rooms of course is on fire oh my god i haven't got their ideas look there for everyone in the chat room everyone all the mayhemers with the sound of my voice those in the room those outside the room those in the chat room anywhere chris anyone this week, for next week's round, this week we are playing the Fast Lane Challenge. Get in the fast and the lane, challenge yeah. is what you've got to send to us if you want your move <laughs> used for next week's Mayhem Mania. We already have a submission for this, don't Who we? Who will AJ Styles get the either pinfall or submission over to retain his championship on Sunday at Fast Lane? Because he's totally winning, right? Yeah, no way. John Cena's winning. From. All right. I don't know if he's winning. All right. Either yeah, pick the winner or... All right, either tell us who AJ Styles defeats to retain the title, or if you want to pick somebody else, you could pick somebody else. And total time of the match for the tiebreaker. Uh, I won't do prices right rules on that one. Just closest one to the uh, total hours. time. Seven hours. Um, and, <laughs> and whoever gets it right will get to come in first, make the first move in next week's Mayhem Mania, and I will give you an eliminator. Whoa. Yeah, eliminator and first move next week. The fast lane challenge. Get in the Just fast uh, lane. send your move to uh, Mayhem Mania at Sorgatron Media. Yes. Mayhem Mania at Sorgatron Media dot com. Did I get that right? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of end boards. Okay. And don't forget to join me for the hottest damn show on the internet, Talking Mayhem Mania. My guest this week is going to be Drago. <laughs> no, it's not true. Um, we'll see. Chaga, what do you think of Mayhem Mania this week? Let's <laughs> see. Uh, guess to be announced. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Uh, well, we have something to, to, to get at. We have some responses uh, from uh, some of our discussions earlier. But in the meantime, I want to give a shout out to our friends at the Scarehouse Podcast. Uh, probably something that you guys, even if you're not in Pittsburgh, uh, listening to some Lucha Underground fans may be into. Uh, maybe the off season doesn't mean you don't have to. Uh, they don't have cool stuff happening. They're having a great podcast about the haunt industry and the and the entertainment industry in general. A lot of fun there. Go check them out at ScarehousePodcast.com. Subscribe to get the new episode as soon as they're available. And uh, really good discussions they've been having there, and great to have them in studio for some of these uh, lately as well. So we did get a response. Uh, I asked earlier about RJ City's um, uh, ma- uh, making coffee in his underwear with uh, Lucha Underground people. And we did have a response from RJ City himself. Yes. All right. Um, and his answer, because we asked, uh, you know, point out there, who from Lucha Underground do you want to see make coffee in your underwear with RJ City? RJ answers, Rita Marino. <laughs> So, that's a very RJ City answer. That, that, that is. Just throwing that out there, guys. Uh, so thank you. Thank you, RJ, friend of the show, for uh, reaching out to there as well. And what is L? I don't know. I don't know this. Missy, I, I'm not sure this, what is, this is from. El Mundo Libra asks uh, us, uh, I guess, Lucha Underground to sign. Hi, 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 hi. I need a pronunciation on this. Iha? Iha del Eo? Vikingo? I'm not yeah, like Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I'm well aware of his work. <laughs> <laughs> Virtual winky face for you guys on the audio. So, all right, guys. I would, him in May- I would have definitely have booked him in Mayhem Mania if I had the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. It's time to find out what did you learn from pro wrestling this week? Who wants to go first? We got Larry up I'll go. on deck. I learned that Braun Strowman is a musical savant. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> God damn, can that guy play some interest instruments? Yes, he can. Mine can backs off of Larry's. And run. That guy can and run. run. That guy can run. <laughs> oh, boy. Chad, what did yeah, you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, I learned that when filming ringside yeah. with a monopod <laughs> on your camera, uh, don't get too close to someone who's chopping another person in the corner or else their chop will go wayward and connect with your camera and knock it off your monopod. And knock it off. And by the way, we got it. It, it. You can see that during the tag team match on the latest Rise Wrestling release. That's Rise with a Y instead of an I uh, over at IndieWrestling.us. Uh, <laughs> and more details over on Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold yeah. if you guys are on that level, of course, for uh, for, for the Mayhem Show. And the videos. Patreon. And the videos. The video is astounding. It is. It is. We just looked at it. I didn't look at it before it's we great. released it. I was just like, oh, that's Is that amazing. in the official yeah, cut? Yeah, it's in the official cut. <laughs> that one that I showed, that's in the official cut. Absolutely. Yes. That's great. Yes. Mainstream, Matt, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, this might be a little bit outside the box, but I learned about this uh, mobile game called The Muscle Hustle. I tried playing that. It's Am I the last? I'm always weird. I'm the last one no, to the party no. on these things. Is this new or is this totally? I, I, saw, I found it a couple weeks ago because I got like the Facebook ad. And yeah. then I'm like, I don't think this is something I want to get into. Um, when you have gems and too many options, I back off from it these this days. This is not a gem it's game. Too no, no, no. Outrageous. But, but, I mean, but there's still like things you have to... I mean, it's premium. <laughs> most so. mobile games, oh I'm kind of like... After like a day, I'm like, okay, yeah. enough of this. So this one I've been going for about almost a week now. And it's not... Yeah, and yes, there are those freemium kind of aspects to it. But I've not hit that wall that I typically hit on these kinds of games. And basically, it's like... I don't know how the uh, developer described it, but it's almost like you're playing pool and you're just like bouncing like little wrestling icon guys around and you're yeah. leveling up. And I mean, it's kind of cool. And the, the announcers saying funny things like, you know, Oh, I didn't have the audio. On. Yeah. The, the audio is pretty fun and it's just kind of a cool game. I have no idea, you know, when this thing came out. Um, honestly, their uh, Twitter account doesn't have a lot of followers. So I think it's pretty new, mm. but uh, yeah, I kind of, I kind of dig this mobile game. So if anybody wants to get in on this, um, and uh, yeah, Is we can uh, beat some like people up. So it's kind of fun. It's, uh, Alliance. About two people around. I don't know. You tell me, Bobby. I mean, Sorky's kind of running some. Yeah, it's kind of like pool, basically. Yeah, so. yeah. It's weird. But I dig it. And like I said, I'm not much of a mobile gamer, but this is kind of mm. holding my interest. So it's kind of fun. Awesome. Bobby, you have J-Town? Um, I learned uh, from wrestling and watching cartoons that Elias now has piano keys for teeth. <laughs> That checks okay, out. Okay, yeah, yeah. Then the other after, after out. getting smashed by a piano. And he can only now play those endearing young charms. Yes. Do 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 Because that's that's they always play it wrong. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Krista Joseph, what'd you learn from wrestling this week that you're allowed to tell us? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um well I, th- I learned a few things. Um probably the most important is that Slam Town is a real place, damn it. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. <laughs> oh my god, are we gonna get to see Slam Town? <laughs> <laughs> are you filming in Slam Town? <laughs> no. <laughs> is that how you get old women across the street oh, in Slam Town? It's just mentioned. It just mentioned a lot. It's a beautiful place. It is. To buy a house there. Kinda like San Diego. Yes. <laughs> I, picture, I picture it as San Dimas from the Bill and Ted movies. Makes sense. Oh, yeah. Probably. That's pretty, that's pretty damn close. Slam Town High it's School Football Rules. rules. <laughs> oh, hey. oh. oh, my God. Mad Mike, what'd you learn from that's, wrestling this week? That, that's a shirt idea for uh, Johnny, by the way. Oh, and yeah. Mike, Slam Town High School Football? One hundred. Yeah. <laughs> Get the jersey. Uh, Mad Mike, what'd you learn? <sighs> Yeah, number zero, Mundo. <laughs> <laughs> um, I learned from wrestling this week that, uh, oh, God, I had something. I just lost it because I started thinking of Johnny Mundo in a Bill and Ted threequel. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I learned I learned that, that um, the, the new temple is really cool. And you can chill out there. Oh, <laughs> poor shame. I, I had something else. I completely lost it. <laughs> so he goes with the puns. Sure, Mike. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, producer Missy has something that she learned. I actually learned a couple of things this week. All right. And I learned them at the same show. Oh. 
We only went to one show. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> I learned that a friend of the show, Gannon Jones Jr., mm-hmm. will get his cardio on just about anywhere. Did you guys see this? Including a gymnasium. There's a ellipt- there were ellipticals like in the no, upper corner. It was corners. an elliptical. It was, the, in the there, was a, there was another one in the other corner. Oh, okay. I didn't see uh, that one. Because Tachi played with that one. Um, oh, but he's on the elliptical over the entrance while the main event people were coming out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. and there's a video that we posted on the indie indie wrestling.us facebook and uh and uh youtube page this is not part of the show that we included but it's just a side thing that i caught uh, the show. so go yes. check that out and i got some other videos from that show and i'm gonna try to get out this week too the second thing that i learned is also something that you put out on the social medias <laughs> that dalton throttle Yes. Needs to throttle his enthusiasm back just a wee bit. <laughs> Knock the entrance ramp over. The entrance just like exploded when he came through it. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, notice I didn't put any highlights of the actual wrestling action. That has nothing to say anything about the wrestling action. It's just those were the two things that I'm like, I got to get this on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> he brought Strowman so. that entrance. He did. He really did. <laughs> he really did. He doesn't he look like he would, you know. He's, overthrottled. He's, yeah, you overthrottled that a bit, and we we did talk to him. We did talk to him afterwards on the uh, the intermission stream over on IndieWrestling.us as well on the Facebook Live. Um, I just forgot what I learned. So I remember oh, oh. what I learned. I remember what I learned. Okay, go ahead because mine gets sad. I, I oh. learned. I learned that WWE finally researched the rules for flying a drone over oh, New Orleans yes. airspace. Yes, yes, yes. They finally learned if that was possible or not so oh. that Vanguard 1 can teleport Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt from the Hardy compound to um, New Orleans to finish their match. <laughs> I just hope it's not going to be another house of uh, no. yours. Bobby, are they I fighting on, at, at the Hardy place now? They're yeah. fighting at the Hardy compound. They yeah. they actually, they actually no filmed, they filmed yeah, a bunch they, of stuff already. Yep, they, they, yeah, because like um, some people were some people were saying that it was footage from Impact, but Revy Hardy confirmed that she was filming the stuff that was shown on Raw. Wait, wait, Revy <laughs> filmed oh, that man. segment? That's what Revy said. Oh, oh man. my God! What if what so if Bray does I, like some of the uh, stuff with the I kids that he does with the? At work. I need yep. like a five minute piano solo of Revy Hardy just playing the piano during the Great War. Can somebody get me my fuck that out t-shirt from Revy Hardy over there in the yes! corner? Because <laughs> that needs to get broken out if this keeps going. Yes. I, I hope what Matt, if I hope Bray yeah. Wyatt tries to launch an owl at Matt Hardy. And he <laughs> yeah. just and he just deletes it with the swipe of his hand. Sorgi. Like, uh, I, Sorgi. I really need yes. that to happen. Yes. What if Bray Wyatt, as he did during his feud with John Cena, somehow corrupts King Maxwell? And, and, oh and makes him sing oh my God. It's, songs. It's Raven and Sandman all over again. I said that. Oh, there are no new ideas. There are no new he ideas now. Followers. I said that on Monday. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I, I stole that from Bobby subconsciously without knowing. Yeah. So my, my the thing I learned also <laughs> from said wrestling show, mm, um, there was a point where, and this was like the kind of weird additional match uh, um, uh, as well. Um, I think it might be unfortunate to be at a high school uh, wrestling show and a guy named the Sniper comes out. These days, oh, yeah. that seems like a faux pas. Oh, Nobody seemed yeah. to notice, but um, I, I noticed. Uh, uh, did, he, probably... did he at least come out with Recon and Kurgan? No, no, no he was no. very non-threatening. <laughs> no, he was yeah, very non-threatening, and I think some like gym teachers were referees. I, I don't know. Um, so uh, there was that. Uh, anyway, but hey, if he needs help with the new gimmick, you should come on the show. We could there you go. We all that thing help. in no time. We were like, you could use some help. Yeah, um, we got him. Anyways, we can... rumble. <laughs> Probably make him the postmaster. We'll give him a good the, the postmaster. Story. Yeah. We'll yeah. give him the we'll give him the postmaster gimmick. Have we pitched the postmaster to Chris yet? Because <laughs> uh, there's nothing oh, offensive about the postmaster. Oh, no, no, absolutely. <laughs> anyways, no, no, no. We're not getting there. We're not getting there. Anyways, anyways. Um hey, it was speaking, we talked about Rise Wrestling. Please go check out indie wrestling.us. That's available on video on demand as well as digital download. Also, um a brand new release. Um before the machine, Raymond Rowe, volume one and two, some great matches there with Lucha Underground's Ricky Reyes, or Cortez Castro, uh, as well as uh, DJ Z. Burr, 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 burr. Thank you. And uh, a lot of other <laughs> great matches. Dawn Castle, I know, part of that as well. Bobby Fish. Mm. 
and uh, a few other uh, awesomer people than Bobby Fish. Uh, also, I want to give a shout out. Uh, Indie Mayhem show this week. Uh, we're releasing our interview with uh, the Neon Ninja facade. He got back from India, spent six months training people at Great Kali's school in Which India. Is. Just let that sink in. That that and we talked to him about <laughs> an hour about his experience there at that school. Uh, working with the, the wrestlers in India. Uh, he, he, he's apparently good buddies with Ginger Mahal now. It's pretty interesting, too. Um, nice. and, and a Wait, lot is of... he going to become a member of 4MB? Maybe we answered that. Go check that out. That is releasing, of course, this Thursday. Go subscribe to Indie Mayhem Show or subscribe to the Wrestling Mayhem Show Master Feed. No, Super Feed, I'm sorry, uh, on your podcast provider. Also, if you are here in the Pittsburgh area, we're having a fast lane pay-per-view watch party uh, this Sunday, come down to the studio here. Check out the Facebook um, event for details and the address. And I want to uh, shout out our, our friends coming up in the next several weeks. Marcus Mann will be joining us next week. You know, one of the masterminds over there at Rise Wrestling, as well as, as, well as uh, uh, your favorite commentator, Farnsworth from the IWC, will be returning to the show as well. And we also have a special recording coming up on the 25th. Uh, Frankie Nelson of the Mania Club Tailgate Fundraiser um it is it we're going to talk with and uh we're going to ask him uh questions about befriending stephanie mcmahon not what she smells like because that's one matt you Power answered that life. and and i think they've only interacted i can probably on the phone. tell you <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't asked chris that have Power we and lilacs, right power and lilacs fire and lilacs absolutely um pretty much <laughs> there you go <laughs> confirmed and also uh look forward to the wrestlemania watch party also here at this studio i'm sure that's going to be a ton of fun. What's that? Todd DeFagio? Oh, there it is. There it is right here in my nose. Todd DeFagio from Idiot Radio, the Double D show, the Pit City Pittsburgh podcast of the year will be joining us here on the show on April 3rd, the week before uh, WrestleMania. So he's going to be in that last round there of Mayhem Mania. And these guys get pretty crazy over there in Brookline. So I'm looking forward to that too. So stat card coming up here. And uh, check out all the great Indie Mayhem show and everything else going on at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Krista Joseph, thank you so much for joining us once again. Live from the Temple, the new Temple, Season 4, in full swing of filming right now. Yeah, th th thank you for having me. I hope I can come back when the trailer drops for Season 4 and we can kind of talk about it, dissect it. Oh, yeah. you better yeah. believe your ass is coming back with questions trailer about drops. that. That will probably be the next time I would imagine I'll be back. Um, unless I see you guys at, was it, Slice on Broadway, right? That's, that's right. Yes. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but uh, other than that, if anybody's coming to the Lucha Underground Temple, come check it out. It's going to be an awesome, crazy weekend. And uh, for those of you on the West Coast, or some people are even flying from New York. We have a person coming from Germany. Jeez. It's uh, It is nuts. It's Das Wunderkind, isn't be it? I'll be there. I'll, I'll be in. I'll be unfortunately in L.A. WrestleMania weekend, great. knocking on the door, asking for somebody to let me in because I'm sure nobody will be there because they're busy over in New Berlin Orleans. Berlin confirmed. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> yeah, in Berlin. There you go. Uh, and also, Mad Mike, Bobby F. J. Town, Chad the Shad, Larry, and Mainstream Matt, and of course the wonderful and Mayhemy award-winning producer Min Missy. Yay. 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 Thank you, everybody in the and chat room. Oh, we didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Real quick, I did forget. Uh, Alex Miller says he learned that he won a concert from Elias and Braun, and I think that's all that the learns that I saw in there. Thank you so much, everybody in the chat room. Has been hanging out with us all night. Uh, check us out next week again, 9 p.m. Eastern time, more or less. We're streaming something at least, or we're on the Facebook Live for Wrestling Ma'am Show. Subscribe. Please leave a comment if you like what we're doing. And if you really like it, drop us a buck over there at patreon.com slash wrestling man show. Tell your friends. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time, then attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time, then attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.